we're going to solve equations like this, and we're going to solve it exact. And I know, again, I mean, I kind of covered it. You could use photo math on this. It would tell you the answer, and you'll make you'll make a great data entry person eventually because you won't know anything and that's not going to help you so don't use photo math I know that that's that I've been kind of preaching that but don't use it because it won't help you in the long run and um, eventually we'll be back in school and you won't get your phone and you won't be able to use photo math to solve your problems when you when you're in school so do your best not to not to use it but let's say I wanted to solve this, and notice it says for the exact value. What it means by that is no decimal, okay? So you can't use a decimal place. So let's look at this equation. We're going to solve this using a regular algebra type move that we normally would do. So if we're going to solve this, you know, solving this means to get x equals everything else. That's what it means to solve, get x all by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add 14 to both sides. So if we do that, we end up with 12 over there. Next thing we do is we got to get rid of that multiplication by 4. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. You know, so you should know that that's equal to 3. So the natural log of 5x minus 8 is equal to 3. Now, yesterday we kind of worked with this. We said that if you had the natural log of a is equal to b, that was we could write it as e to the b is equal to a. These are the notes that you had yesterday. Remember the natural log, the base is e. So we could write this e to the third power is equal to 5x minus 8. So if we add 8 to both sides, e to the third plus 8 is equal to 5x. Divide by 5, e to the third plus 8 divided by 5 is equal to x. That's what we would type in. So we go over here, type in e to the third power plus 8 divided by, and notice how I, how I ended up just with a divided by there. What that means is I need to surround this whole thing with parentheses so I can divide the whole thing by 5 and then I would get the right answer and they go through all the steps that you need to need to see on that that's so another problem let's take something like this one we write it down you write it down too I'll do one more and then I'll let you do one and hopefully we'll be in a good place for there. So I've got this equation right here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 8 to both sides. So I got the natural log of 5x plus 1 is equal to 12. If I divide by 3, 5x plus 1, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now I'm going to use that idea that I had with, with e in the natural log, and I'm going to say 5x plus 1 is equal to e to the fourth power, because remember the base on this is base e. So 5x is equal to e to the fourth minus 1. So x is equal to e to the fourth minus 1 divided by 5. So if I go over here, type it in. Remember, I got to put parentheses because I got to do e to the fourth. Get my my carrot out, uh, my cursor outside of the parent uh, outside of the exponent. Minus one. Close the parentheses. Divided by five. 
and I get that one right. Okay, so one more, and I'm going to have you do this one. So go ahead and write this one down, pause the video, come back, and follow through the steps and see if you have the same thing. You've got 3 times the natural log of 3x plus 9 plus 2 equals 17. Go ahead and pause the video. Hopefully you're back with me. Here's how I'd solve this. First thing I'd do is I'd subtract 2. 3 times the natural log of 3x plus 9 is equal to 15. Whoops, let me get to that screen. Sorry. There you go. Just added two, subtract 2 to both sides. Divide by 3. The natural log, 3x plus 9 is equal to 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Now, 3x plus 9 has to equal e to the fifth power. Subtract 9. e to the fifth power minus 9. Divide by 3. We're just undoing using algebra. So there's the steps that you'll see in delta math. So if I go over here and I do E, whoops, remember, got to put parentheses around it because I want to do all this. I do E to the fifth power minus 9. Close the parentheses, divided by 3. Hopefully I did everything right. There it is. There's all the steps. Should match my steps. And you're all set to do those problems. Let me know if you need help.